This time on the Gadget Show Web TV, John takes a look at the UK's first phone, the 21 by 9 ratio screen. I get you up to date with the latest tech news, and Otis plays on social network game site omgpop.com. And welcome to Web TV. Now we've recently seen the first 21 by 9 movie ratio television from Philips, and hot on its heels comes the brand new chocolate phone from LG, also with a 21 by 9 ratio screen. Only this one is a little bit smaller. Recently on Web TV, I tried a Philips 21 by 9 ultra widescreen TV. And very impressive it was at giving you an involving movie experience in the home with ultra widescreen movies. Now LG have taken up the 21 by 9 theme and launched an ultra widescreen phone. They obviously think it's pretty important because they've made it their fourth phone to bear their chocolate branding. But does an ultra widescreen phone work as well as an ultra widescreen telly? Well, in one respect, it's very successful indeed. It gives the phone a sleek, elegant chassis, which combined with excellent design details make it a very desirable object indeed. And the extra length doesn't seem to be a problem. It's actually very handy when you're making calls. The phone feels very natural. And even when you're not, you can still pocket it quite easily, rather like an exclusive slimline diary. And in one other respect, it's also a particular success. If you do actually go through the bother of converting a 21 by 9 movie or movie trailer, it does give you a pretty good phone viewing experience. Uh, 800 by 345 pixels, the screen's a very good definition, the colours are really bright and strong. One thing I would like to see though is some form of zoom control. If, for example, you've taken a DVD recording of the gadget show as here and it's come through as 4x3, there's no facility to expand it either to 16x9 or indeed to 21x9 to fill the screen, which is a pity. There's a standard 3.5mm headphone jack and the sound quality is very good indeed. Whether you're listening to a movie soundtrack or the built-in music player, which really takes advantage of the 21x9 screen by uh, giving you an excellent interface, or indeed the excellent FM radio, you'll really be impressed, I think, by the dynamic quality of the sound. The camera's quite good too, it's 5 megapixels with flash and it shoots video, although not widescreen video, the maximum resolution is 640 by 480 There are lots of other features though, there's an FM transmitter for the car, it's got GPS, Wi-Fi, Microsoft Exchange support, and the S-series interface is quite customisable if you like that sort of thing. So, it's a great phone then. Well, it would be if it wasn't so slow. It depends what you're doing, how much lag you experience. You notice it a bit when you're typing on the otherwise excellent landscape keyboard. It makes it a bit of an anxiety-ridden process, knowing whether you've pressed the keys or not. It also stops you enjoying the excellent photo gallery interface with its uh, multi-touch expand gestures. But where you really notice the lag is when you're web browsing. Now, in theory, on a 21 by 9 screen, web browsing should be pretty good because you won't have to go through the endless horizontal scrolling that's normally a feature of web browsing on smartphones. But here it's all ruined because the pages are so slow to load and zooming in and out of them, again, using multi-touch, is virtually impossible. The lag becomes overwhelming, utterly paralyzing. So this is a great phone spoilt by its lazy nature. I don't know what it is that's causing the problem, whether it's a slow processor or a shortage of memory, but whatever it is, LG should sort it because a phone this gorgeous really deserves it. News time now, and there's some good news from Starbucks for all you caffeine and connectivity fans out there, as the High Street coffee bar chain is now offering free Wi-Fi to members of its card reward scheme. BT have teamed up with the coffee giant to offer BT Open Zone Wi-Fi in their stores across the UK and Ireland. Existing BT home and business customers and people with Apple's iPhone will be able to access the Wi-Fi without having to join the card scheme first. The Starbucks cards can be topped up in-store and enable you to purchase things within the shop without the need for cash. You will need to register your details online and top up the card with £5 worth of credit to gain those Wi-Fi privileges, but existing cardholders will be automatically upgraded. 
next Acer's forthcoming F1 smartphone will be released in the UK in the next couple of weeks, according to an announcement directly from Acer themselves. The new handset, which will mark Acer's entry into the Windows Mobile 6.5 race, was codenamed F1 at the launch, but it appears the name has stuck. It has recently been confirmed that Windows Mobile 6.5 will launch on October 6, which coincides quite nicely with the release of Acer's new handset. The F1 should cost about £450, but will include a 5 megapixel camera and LED flash and have a 1 gigahertz processor, making it one of the most powerful Windows Mobile devices on the market. Social networking sites like Facebook have been incorporating games onto them for some time to help draw users together. Well, Otis has found a game site attempting to do the exact same thing, just the other way around. It's called omgpop.com, a free online flash game site where you play other users and make friends. If you're curious about online gaming but don't have the money or the inclination to splash out on state-of-the-art games, then perhaps this will interest you. It's OMG Pop and it's essentially a social networking site that has games that you can play. They're all flash-driven. Um, they have titles such as Hit Machine, Letter Blocks, Ball Racer, Hover Cart and Draw My Thing. And one of my favourites is Hover Cart, so I'm going to have a play of that now if you don't mind. And here we go. This is essentially a Mario Kart type game. You play against other people online and you can customise your cars to make them react differently on the track. They may drift more or less, um, go a lot quicker, accelerate better and just look a bit more rad than all the other cars you're up against. Ah, oh, what was that? We're about to get my position uh, last. Got beaten by two girls. Okay, I'll try again. Oh, Planet Rock, yes. Here we go, I ain't messing around this time. Ooh, I've got a turbo boost, look at that. <laughs> I just blew up someone on the track, get out of my way. Once you've completed any of the games you've played, you can then put your score up to earn more bragging rights. Of course, I will not be doing that because I finished. Oh, I finished second, that's not too bad. The second game I want to show you is one called Hit Machine. It's just like a, a Guitar Hero. You have to hit corresponding keys when the bars come down. And again, of course, um, with your score, it's put up and out there for all other users to see. I've got to use six keys, A, S, D, J, K, and L. I've got to hit them at the right time when the notes come down to the bottom bar. The corresponding fully licensed video will be playing in the background, but I'll probably be ignoring that because I'll be in the rock zone. Do you know what I mean? All right. Game's about to start. Okay, the dude I'm up against. Oh no. 98, he's a 98% player. I'm loaded, here we go. Oh, it's too late, didn't click it properly. Oh, too early. Yeah, I've probably rocked out there, man. I'm about to see what my score is. I got, ah, oh, right. My opponent was playing on medium and got 91%. I was playing on easy. I got 94%, so he finishes just above me. But yeah, that was cool. Now, after you've mastered it, or even beforehand, you can place links to this site on your social networking site, so Twitter and Facebook, so you can get more of your mates to join in and you can all go OMG pop crazy. Uh, it's great and it's free. you lot for today but on the next gadget show the team will be showing you how to get the best tech possible without bankrupting yourself that's our budget special monday october 5th at 8 on 5 make sure you don't miss it there'll be some great tips there we'll be back next thursday with more news and reviews but before that make sure you join us on facebook follow us on twitter and keep an eye on our website for exclusive online content see you next time